What's up everybody? My name is Scooter and you're watching Adventures with Scooter and today we are going to talk about slingshots. The first rule of slingshots is treat every slingshot as if it is loaded because you never know. The second rule is always know what you are shooting at and what is behind it because these things are very powerful and if you hold the bat too long sometimes your fingers can get a little tight. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and over the years I have torture tested many guns, but my favorite gun to torture test is the Glock and that is because it is my favorite semi-automatic handgun. But most of my torture tests have been unorthodox and unrealistic. I mean, how often is your Glock going to be slathered in peanut butter and syrup? I mean, it could happen, but I wanted to try out some more realistic tests on the Glock. So I decided to do a 100 day Glock torture test. So 100 days ago, I bought five Glock 19s. I took each one and loaded them with 10 rounds of nine millimeter Underwood ammo, but I did not put one in the chamber. I took the first Glock 19 and I chucked it into a pond. Not too long after that, I decided that that was probably a bad idea to leave that Glock in the pond for 100 days. So I pulled it out of the pond and I put it in this container and filled it with pond water. The second Glock 19 is in this container here. And when I went on vacation this year to Florida, I came home with several gallons of ocean water. This container is full of that ocean water and this Glock 19 has been sitting in it for 100 days. The third Glock 19 is in this solid block of ice. It has been frozen solid in my deep freezer for 100 days. And the other two Glock 19s have been resting right here in the dirt. One Glock 19 is just buried. The other Glock 19 I put inside a Ziploc bag and then buried it. This experiment started on September 6th 2023 and as you can see here on my watch now today is December 15th 2023. So now that these handguns have been marinating for a hundred days it's time to take a look at them. So first I'm gonna dig up these Glocks then we're gonna pull the other ones out of the water and the ice. We're going to inspect them and see if they will function. I am very excited to do this. <coughs> I have to admit it's been really hard to not dig these things up before 100 days. I've been really curious to what they are gonna look like. Ugh. Oh, probably not gonna take much to get to it. Ugh. Oh, here's the first one. Here it is. Oh. Okay, wow, that actually doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's not bad. I must have hit it with a shovel or something because it's kind of, it's out of battery. But that doesn't look awful. Well, if that one looks like that, I have really high hopes for the one in the Ziploc bag. <laughs> We struck oil. There it is. Oh my gosh. That looks almost perfect. I didn't put any oil on this, nothing. I mean, I just took it right out of the box, stuck it in the Ziploc bag, and that's looking pretty darn good. I don't think I mentioned that here in Kentucky over the last hundred days, it has been very hot. It has also been very cold. We have had rain, we have had dry spells. So those Glocks have experienced just about everything they could while buried in the dirt. Now it's time to do something 
that I have desperately been wanting to do, and that's break this solid block of ice. That hit me right in the neck. Why does everything go for my neck? Okay, now we're safe, right? I guess, I mean, hit me in the freaking face. Ow! Ow! Oh, okay. All right. That's some risky business getting that thing out of the ice. That is solid. All right. So as you can see here, I had to tie some string around the Glock and that was to keep it suspended in the ice. Otherwise, it would just freeze to the very bottom of the container, but I wanted it right in the middle of that ice. There we go. Oh, I mean, other than the mud I just put on it, it's looking pretty solid. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I have to say, this is probably the coolest Glock I've ever seen. Fresh water. Sort of. Pond water. Oh. That looks pretty bad. So this is all the like, little algae and stuff that I got when I scooped it up. So there's a, like a piece of grass. Ugh. And... Here's the Glock. You can see we have some rust that is formed through here on the slide, and that pin there. Uh, it's a little slimy. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna eject the mag. Oof, look at that. It's a little rusty. And this gun is not loaded. I'm gonna turn it just slightly so that you can see the rust inside the end of that barrel. I'm gonna put this back in there. Oh dear, that is, that's nice. Oh. Now for the one I've been most excited to look at, the ocean water. I mean, this should have chewed up the Glock pretty good. Ooh. Oh dear, look at all this. I guess that's just rust, I mean, this water was crystal clear when I put it in there. Oh, that's gnarly. You've got all kinds of rust forming on the slide. Rusty water dripping out the end. Here we go. You can see rust in the end of the barrel. That one right there is looking pretty bad. That's looking real bad. Oh, okay. Well, now that we have retrieved all five Glocks, Let's see if they will function. Oh yeah, I'm on today. Okie dokie. We're not gonna take any chances today. I am going to vice grip each Glock inside here and pull a string on it. First, I'm gonna see if it will fire the ammunition that it was buried with or submerged with. And if it will not fire that ammunition, we will put some fresh ammo in it and see if the gun will function. I am very excited. So the first Glock that we are gonna try out is the frozen Glock, and that's because it is slowly thawing out and I want it to be as frozen as it possibly can be when we test it. But first, I wanna tell you about an awesome giveaway. I have partnered with Vanish Holsters. They are today's sponsor. They are the most comfortable holster in the game and they are giving away a Jeep Gladiator along with 25,000 in gold. The contest is completely free to enter. All you have to do is swing over to Vanish Holsters Instagram, give them a follow, like and comment on the post and you are automatically entered to win. They will be giving away the Gladiator and the gold on December 31st, so be sure and enter now. There is a link in the description down below. I mean, literally all you have to do is swing over to their Instagram, give them a follow, and like and comment on a post. It's pretty simple, and you could win an awesome Jeep Gladiator and 25,000 in gold. A big thank you to Vanish Holsters for putting this on, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Okay, first things first, um, let's see if I can even get this thing to chamber. Nope, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna chamber. I wonder if I can even get the mag out. 
No, that is frozen solid. That is, that is solid. Uh, I'm gonna let it thaw out a little bit longer. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's start out with the easiest one, the Glock in a bag. Just gonna unzip that. It is a little wet because I tried to wash it off to like get a picture of it. I probably shouldn't have done that. So now I got a little bit of water in my bag. Uh, so the water that's in there was actually not from it being buried. That's my fault. Oops. Um, but this one looks solid. I mean, that ammo looks perfect. The gun looks perfect. I literally, there's nothing, I mean, nothing is wrong with this thing. It is 100% normal. I mean, it's brand new. I took it right out of the case, put it in a Ziploc bag and buried it. Been there for a hundred days. Here we go. Flawless victory. So the left side of my berm has kind of been leaning and I've been wondering when it was gonna fall and I just shot those rounds at it and uh, the whole thing just fell over. Okay, so Glock in a Ziploc bag, pass. How about a Glock not in a Ziploc bag buried for 100 days? This is looking pretty rough, but all in all, it doesn't look that bad. It's just mostly muddy. So I'm going to just try to get the majority of this off with my hand. Let's see what that mag looks like. Woo, man, that ammo still looks great. So the ammo's good. Let's, oh, that's nasty. So this thing is not loaded. And we have a little bit of mud in the end of the barrel and I'm not going to remove it. We're gonna leave that. We're gonna be realistic here. Oh, I can't even really get it to, oh, come on. It's so slick. It is jammed up, on, there it goes. There we go. All right, it's moving now. Gosh darn it. I can't get a hold of it. <laughs> All right, it's moving. We'll put this mag in there. This muddy mag. All right, fits. I'm just gonna use this table to rack the slide back because I was having trouble. And we got one in there, I think. We are chambered. So now I'm gonna put it in this vice grip and we're gonna pull a string. All right, I'm on there. Here we go. You just got jammed. <laughs> I'm gonna rack this slide back now. Yep. Well, let's, let's do it again. You just got jammed. We did not eject our case again, but it is firing. Looks like it's just getting hung up. Let's go again. You just got jammed. Okay, still not ejecting. Let's give her one more try. See if it'll cycle. You just got jammed. No, it's not gonna cycle. Okie dokie. Well, let's take it out of here and have a look at it. So the ammunition is working just fine, but the Glock here having a little bit of trouble. I actually do not think that anything is wrong. I don't think we had any kind of blow out or anything like that with that little bit of mud in the end of the barrel. It seems to be just fine. I think it's just dirty. So I'm gonna wash it off real quick and then we'll try it again.
Oh, it's so grimy. Oh. That mud is so thick, it's like clay. It still sounds kind of clunky. But, I think it will probably function now. I think it's probably good now to just fire by hand. It didn't explode in the lead sled. Now that I've washed it, I imagine it's probably fine. All right, here we go. Hit that steel target over there, 50 yards. Uh, it, it jammed up though. So it did eject better than the last time. And the ammo was functioning. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Nope. Okay. So, Glock buried in the mud with no bag. Oh, huh? Nope. <laughs> Not looking too good. Like, you would have to really clean it and oil it, but looks like you could still get some shots off. It's just, it's not cycling right now. And maybe that's because we damaged something with that first shot with there mud, being mud in there. But it is working, it's just not ejecting. Real quick, before I call it quits on this Glock, I have a good clean mag with four fresh rounds of Underwood ammo. 147 grain plus P. Let's see if it cycles any better with this. Okay, so maybe it was the mag and maybe that ammo had a little less spice to it after being buried that long. But the Glock that was in the Ziploc bag fired just fine. So. It was either the mag or the ammo in this particular Glock because now that I've cleaned it and with fresh ammo, it's working just fine. Up next is the Glock that was in the pond water for the last hundred days. Um, I think we already looked at the mag, but that ammo and everything is looking pretty bad. I'm really curious to see if it even fires. Let's see if this thing will chamber around. Yeah, chamber's just fine. Alrighty, first shot. Or not. Okay, it went off, but the ammo did not go boom. Let's have a look at that real quick. Get my hand down here just in case that round does decide to go off. So the first round. Well, it barely tapped it. <laughs> He didn't tap it very hard at all. Oh. Trigger's resetting. That next round, that don't, oh. How do I keep getting mud on everything? All right. Next round. Round two. Here we go. You just got jammed. <laughs> Hey, that one went off. That's been setting in water for a hundred days and the round went off. That is nuts. Did not cycle though, okay. Round two. You just got jammed. Went off but it did not cycle. It's looking like this is probably safe for me to handle so I'm just gonna fire it by hand now okay I'm just gonna shoot from down here so I don't have to move my slow-mo camera here we go you got us a click bad round click 
Bad round. Click. Bad round. You just got jammed. Oh, a little bit of a delayed reaction there. You know what? Actually, let's make sure that wasn't a squib. Mm. You got a little bit of a jam in there. It's not wanting to come out. Now that is stuck in there good. Okay, let's see what happens when we pull the string. So this gun has now become inoperable. It, it will not open. Looks like that round is just stuck in there. It's stuck in there really good. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get that out of there. So I'm just gonna call it quits on this one for now. The Glock that was in the pond water for 100 days, I mean, it worked for a little while and then it just kind of went okie dokie. Pond water did quite a bit of damage to that Glock. Now how about salt water? Let's have a good look at this here. You can see we have a nice rusty sheen but it looks like that'll just kind of wipe off, which is crazy. It's interesting. The ammo, oh. Ammo's looking pretty rough also. But what do you expect? This has been in ocean water for a hundred days. I mean, the gun is functioning. So it's functioning well. Let's see if it'll fire some of this ammo. Uh, the last Glock, the ammo seemed to have caused the malfunction on the Glock. So I'm gonna see if this one will fire it. If it doesn't fire it in the first few rounds, I'm just gonna go ahead and put fresh ammo in it and see what happens. Got one chambered. Okay, saltwater Glock, here we go. You just got jammed. <laughs> went off wow <laughs> I just can't believe that more so the ammo like I'm impressed the underwood ammo is performing pretty well even after being in salt water for a hundred days that's crazy to me let's try the next one here we go oh that one didn't go off Try one more. Round three. You just got jammed. Woo! Wow. But it's not ejecting it. Let's do one more. You just got jammed. Okay. Well, we can't get it to cycle. This ammo is still functioning, but I wonder if, you know, it's just not as potent because it's been in salt water for a hundred days. Maybe, you know, some things are going on internally with the ammo, which I mean, anything you leave in salt water for a hundred days is probably not gonna function a hundred percent correctly. So. Now I'm gonna put a fresh mag in this saltwater Glock and see if we can get it to run. Okay, I have checked this gun. There's no squib or anything like that in it. I have five fresh rounds of 147 grain plus P Underwood ammo. Let's see if this thing will cycle. Here we go. <laughs> Listen. I was a Glock fanboy before, but I'm even more of a Glock fanboy now. I mean, that is pretty awesome. Okay, and now we are gonna circle back to the frozen Glock. And um, still really frozen. <laughs> I guess still very, very frozen. All up in here, uh, barrel is full of ice. Still can't eject the mag. So uh, I'm gonna try to thaw it out real quick in some water. 
I meant to bring a hair dryer, but I completely forgot. So I'm hoping that just this water, even though it is cold, it's not as cold as the ice in this block. So it should melt it. Now we already got some movement. Oh yeah. We're getting there. Really just need to get that mag out. Oh. Oh. All right. Get the mag out. Those rounds are not moving. Oh. <laughs> that round just fell out. You can see inside there that all of those rounds are encased in ice. But Glock here starting to come to life. Oh. Big old piece of ice just came out of that thing. I bet that's from the barrel. Oh. Oh, we got life. She's working now. <laughs> Looks like most of that ice is off of it. Let's see if the trigger works. Trigger reset. Yep. I bet this thing works fine. So the frozen Glock is looking A-OK. -okay. It's cleared of all ice and it's passing the functions test. But the magazine is another story. It is still frozen solid and I'm having a hard time getting it to thaw out. So if your Glock was frozen, your mag probably isn't going to work, but your Glock probably will. Now once this thaws, that may be a different story. But for now, I'm just going to use a fresh mag with six fresh rounds. Okay, here we go. Works perfect. I really would like to get this mag working, but I just don't know if it's gonna happen. Okay, this mag is starting to thaw out and I'm able to get the rounds out of it. It's just kinda, oh, there you go. Rounds are coming out, but now the follower is stuck in there. But this ammo looks good. I mean, like it looks solid. I'm gonna go rinse this mag one more time now and kind of knock it around and see if I can get it moving and I bet this thing will work. So I rinsed it off some more and now the follower is back up at the top but you kind of hear a little bit of noise in there. So I'm not really sure what's going on but I'm gonna to try to load it with the ammo that was in it. So I have my pocket here, Ugh, my ear protection. Let's see if it'll actually load these. Okie dokie, frozen ammunition, recently thawed. Okay, let's see what happens. You just got jammed. Okay, we went off, but did not eject the round. Seems to be an issue. Okay, let's try round two. You just got jammed. Not, not sounding good in there. You just got jammed. Okay, so the ammo that it was frozen with was functioning, but it didn't have enough oomph to cycle the slide. Maybe some moisture got in there. I don't know. It would be enough to fire the gun, but you would have to cycle it manually. So today's video was a little more education, a little less entertainment. It was a lot of fun though. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below and let me know of any other gun science experiments you would like to see. Also be sure and give today's video a like and if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs. I am actually posting videos over there again. Check out Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns and Kentucky Ballistics Shorts. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. 
See you next time. Ah! 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 Ah!